Hi guys, it's me Dayanara and welcome back to my channel. Yes guys, I know I look different from my past videos and my usual self before because I'm already wearing a hijab. Yes, alhamdulillah for that. But it's still me guys, okay? So, anyway, I wanna give things sa mga 698 subscribers ko. Upon watching this video, aawat na tayo ng 700 subscribers. So, let's go guys for 1,000 subscribers for the giveaway. And you can still enter for the giveaway. Just check the description below, okay? Kung paano. So, for today's video, I am going to share recalls and mass to know for hematology. If you're interested sa hematology, keep on watching till the end, guys. So, without further ado, let's go to the topic now. Number one, guys, for hematology, in preparing a blood smear, the distance of the drop of blood from the label or end of the slide should be 1.0 cm. So, an important consideration, guys, in preparing a blood smear is the distance and the size of the drop of blood. So, guys, the distance of the drop of blood from the label, which is the frozen end of the glass, or end of the glass no frozen end should be 1.0 cm which is equivalent to 0.25 inches. And guys, for the size of the drop of blood, it should be 2 to 3 mm. So you need to take this important consideration guys in order for you to have a good blood smear. So next guys is the red cell morphology grading. So a 15 stomatocytes per oil immersion field that is graded as plus so I'm going to show you guys a table for the red cell morphology grading chart so as you can see guys this is the red cell morphology grading chart on the other side you can see the red cell morphology and on the other side is the grading so I want you guys to screenshot this table in order for you to review this after watching my video you know guys the red cell morphology grading chart is really a must to know for board examination because this is often asked by the board examinee so sana guys okay give your time to memorize this red cell morphology grading chart next guys how many platelets per oil immersion field should be observed in order to evaluate a normal platelet number in an appropriate area of a blood smear and that is 8 to 20 platelets. Next, guys, is the must to know for the microhematocrit tube, which is what we know the capillary tube. So, this is really, guys, important because hindi to nawawala sa board exam. That is why I included this sa video. So, first, guys, the microhematocrit tube is approximately 75 millimeter long. It has an inner bore of 1.2 mm and it can hold 0.05 ml of blood and the plug is 4 to 6 mm. The plug guys is to seal the capillary tube at the end of the tube. Next guys, the third layer in the examination of a spanhematocrit is the Buffy coat. So guys, after centrifugation of the hematocrit, may mga layers po yun siya. So the top layer is the fatty layer. The second layer is the plasma. The third layer is the puffy coat, which is consists of WBCs and platelets. And the fourth layer, guys, is the PAC RBC. Next, guys, which of the erythrocyte indices is not used in a classification of anemia? And that is the MCH, mean cell hemoglobin. So we have three erythrocyte indices, guys. We have the MCV, that is the mean cell volume, MCH, mean cell hemoglobin and MCHC mean cell hemoglobin concentration so among the three erythrocyte indices mean cell hemoglobin is not used in the classification of anemia so next guys the absence of the philadelphia chromosomes means a poor prognosis so philadelphia chromosome guys is the translocation of the long arm chromosome 22 to the long arm chromosome 9 okay so this is seen in a chronic myelogenous leukemia so in chronic myelogenous leukemia it is characterized by the presence of philadelphia chromosome Next guys, this is the stage of the erythrocyte sedimentation where relu formation occurs and that is in the lag phase. So now I am going to show you a table for the RBC sedimentation rate. So as you can see guys, sa first 10 minutes that is also known as the lag phase. So this is where relu formation occurs 
And the next 40 minutes, which is also known as decantation phase, this is more rapid and constant sedimentation. And for the last 10 minutes, the sedimentation is low. This is where final settling phase. So, madali lang siya guys. Take time to know this RBC sedimentation rate. Next guys, the x-axis on a blood cell histogram represents the cell size. So, what about the y-axis? The y-axis represents the relative number of cells. So, y-axis, relative number of cells, and x-axis, the cell size. So, next guys, the last recalls must to know for hematology is... The most common childhood leukemia is the acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So what about the most common form of elderly leukemia? That is the chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So that's it guys for today's video. I hope that this short video for hematology will help you in taking your board examination. So please be updated guys because my next upload will be recalls and master know for immunology and serology. So, kung mapapansin nyo, wala pang blood banking dahil sa separate video yun siya, guys. So, for my next one, we will just focus on immunology and serology. So, yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. So, don't forget, guys, to follow me on my social medias, especially sa Twitter, because makikita nyo dun yung status ko for my vlogs. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you in my next one. Bye!